When I think of surveying, I think of being outside, I think of math, I think of solving problems. My name is Corinne Greenwald and I am the program director of the surveying program. Every job that we do is different. Every, every time we step foot on a job, there's some, something different about that job than the previous job we were on. Some of the traits that help students be successful not only in school but long term in the profession are being go-getters, uh, not, not necessarily waiting around for someone to tell them, hey, do this next, but kind of always keeping an eye out of what needs to be done next. Um, in school, if students' success is really dependent on how much time they put in outside of the classroom. Uh, generally, you have to enjoy being outside and be capable of working in any type of weather conditions, uh, uneven terrain, those types of things. The average age of surveyors are retirement age, that's licensed surveyors. So these, these surveyors are retiring and moving on with their lives, leaving gaps behind for licensed surveyors to fill. So there's fantastic job opportunities right now. The pay is, is great, especially for needing only a minimum of a two-year associate's degree. You can get out right away after graduation and easily probably start making $50,000 a year. So there are a lot of job opportunities for entry-level surveyors to fill right now while also making good wages and you know, beginning, beginning their life. You know, every great project begins with a survey. My name is Clay Treese. I'm a land survey technician and I have a land survey intern license. So I'd heard that land surveying is a, is a great key into engineering. They work together hand in hand. Um, so it was something that I wanted to do just to kind of add to my portfolio. And once I kind of got into those classes and learning what surveying is, you know, I just fell in love with it and stuck with it and you know it's it's the best thing I've, I've done. Um, I just love the history aspect of it and of course being outdoors you know is, is hard to beat you know especially where we live. The overall work is very it's different it's a lot different than anything you've ever seen and you know it takes some thinking you kinda gotta train yourself to to think in a different way. Some of the traits for a successful surveyor I would say is a decent comprehension of math you don't need to be a math whiz. Another good trait to have is you know just being able to kind of have your bearings um, out out in an area, you know, we're dealing with a lot of um, distances and directions and so, and it's a lot of physical, physical work too, you know, a lot of walking around. I do lots of walking, lots of miles in a day and um, lots of swinging hammers and axes and hatchets and stuff like that, so. A lot of surveyors, um, you know, getting to the, to the end of their career out here and um, there's a lot of job opportunities and plenty of work for people to get into and nothing bad I can say about about surveying you know it's been amazing for me it's set me up great for my life and you know it's exactly what I'm looking for uh, in my future and in my professional life and, and you know I just can't say enough good about it.